Welcome to Nightly Highlights, where we bring you the standout stories from this week's Nightly News. Each episode is your shortcut to exciting campus events, important announcements, and student achievements. Perfect for a quick break or your daily commute to campus, we'll keep you in the loop with all the essentials. Sit back, catch up with what's happening around the Marion University Indianapolis campus. I'm Karen Kalish, your Dean of Students, and this week, I'm joined by Kara Kavanzik. Welcome, Kara. Hi, Karen. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited that you're here. Excited to be here. <laughs> so Kara is the Community of Care Program Coordinator, and this is a program that's funded by a grant that we received from the Office of Violence Against Women. Kara graduated from Marion in 2021 with a bachelor's in psychology and social work, double major, and then went on right after that to get a master's in social work and graduated from that program in 2022 and then came right back to Marion. Absolutely, I did. Yeah, you did. So can you say more about what the Office of Violence Against Women grant is and what it means for Marion? Absolutely. So essentially, again, the Office of Violence Against Women, OVW, um, is a subset of the Department of Justice. So we have a federal grant specifically to our Marion campus that just works to address and prevent dating violence, domestic violence, sexual assault, and stalking. Um, so I just do a lot of work around prevention of that interpersonal violence, um, what do healthy relationships look like, bystander intervention training, um, what does consent look like, all things like that. So you handed me this purple ribbon when you got in today. <laughs> so what is what is this? Yes. So it is, a, is purple is the color for Domestic Violence Awareness Month, DVAM, um, which is um, celebrated or honored every October. Mm. Um, so we just work to bring awareness around the issue of domestic violence um, and unhealthy relationships, um, have events, awareness, uh, making sure we're highlighting resources, things like that. So um, for anyone out there, I recommend stopping by my office in Clare Hall 127 and picking up a purple ribbon for DVAM. Um, so I want to first talk about what's going on this week at Marion. So Kara, can you help me with this a little bit? For sure. Awesome. Okay, so we're coming up on midterms week. It's kind of a stressful time, but it also means that fall break is right around the corner. Yes. Uh, so we don't have classes October 14th and 15th, but the residence halls and some dining venues will stay open so uh, students can stick around, go to the football game that's that weekend. There will be okay. things to do on campus. Um, so The other thing that's going on is um, the last chance to register to vote uh, in mm. Indiana for the general election is October 7th. And so we're doing a, a last push to get students registered. And so we've been talking a lot about the election on campus. It's kind of an important time. So why do you think it's important to vote, Kara? I think it's really important that students have the opportunity to vote so that they can share their thoughts, their opinions. Um, a lot of people complain about a lot of things. And the only way that those things change is when you speak up. And voting is a really crucial way that we can do that. So um, to any student out there, I highly recommend that you're registered to vote. I'm sure a lot of you are tired of hearing about that. But hey, <laughs> we're just making sure that you're registered to vote. Um, and so Nightly News has been has done a great job highlighting how to register, making sure that you're done on time, how to do absentee ballot, things like that. Yeah, for sure. It's really important. I like what you said about, you know, we, we have opinions about things. We have, you know, we are concerned about different stuff and we want to share our voice. And voting um, mm -hmm. is the only way to do that in this political landscape, right? Or one of the major ways to do that. Yes. Um, and so that's a huge thing for sure. Um, kind of in the same vein, there's a Student Government Association Senate meeting on Tuesday, October 8th. And in terms of getting your voice heard on the Marion University campus, this is a big opportunity for students. And so um, we have a Senate meeting Tuesday, October 8th. There's also a Kappa Delta Pi meeting. Uh, they're doing an alumni professor panel for educators, which I think would be awesome. a really great event. Um, and then University Ministry is hosting an awake night on Wednesday, October 9th. This would be a perfect thing to do in the middle of midterms week to go to the chapel in Marion Hall and just relax and pray and have a moment with God. Um, so check out Awake Night. We already talked about the football game, but they play Indiana Wesleyan on Saturday, October 12th. Go Knights. Woohoo! Um, and then when we get back from fall break, it'll be homecoming. So there will be lots going Semester's on. Semester is fine. Yeah, it really is. I don't know how it became midterms week. Um, one other thing I wanted to do was highlight a 
opportunity for students. So we have a career development fund here at Marion University. Mm -hmm. So this fund is run by the exchange and it's a competitive application for small stipends to support upcoming experiences such as unpaid internships, conference registration, or even professional examination fees like the LSAT or the MCAT if you want to go to law school or med school. And there's other opportunities you could use it for too. That's a really awesome opportunity for yeah, students. For sure. The stipends can go up to $750. So that's actually significant um, sure. in helping support those experiences. They do applications, and the applications for this round of funding are due on October 25th. Um, but you can find out more information on the Exchange website or by reading the nightly news this coming Sunday. All right, now we're going to do a deeper dive into an event or an awareness month or a student service, and we're going to talk about Domestic Violence Awareness Month with Kara. So, hey. yay. So awareness months are really important to your work. And since October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, can you talk a little bit about how we're trying to address dating and domestic violence on our campus? Yeah. So even though it's not something that is widely talked about anywhere, right, we know that it's something that a lot of people do experience, whether or not they know it, whether or not you know it, about other people, other people that you know. Um, and so those awareness months are just so important to make sure that we can continue to have the conversation around those things. And what do unhealthy relationships look like? Which I think is something that students are really facing every day in their lives, right? Um, how to navigate healthy relationships, whether that's friendships or romantic, intimate relationships, right? Um, and so one of the things that we do on this campus is we house Green Dot Trainings, um, which is essentially our bystander intervention program. I mentioned that bystander is something that we do on this campus. And even if you don't think that you've ever been in a place where you've been in an unhealthy relationship, which is highly possible, and a lot of people may not directly experience that, um, you are in a spot where you might be able to recognize that in somebody else's life, right? And so it's really important that um, we talk about how to be a good bystander and how to recognize those red flags, right? And how to address that and how to make sure that those people are staying healthy and making sure that we're keeping our campus safe. So Green Dot is definitely one of those things that we do here. Um, we also try to do education. Uh, specifically, we target our first year students in the first year seminar. Um, they just wrapped up um, education on this topic, right? So like, what do things like dating violence look like, sexual assault and stalking, um, and how to support survivors, how to support those that may come out to you and say that they've experienced that, um, and those resources both on and off campus. Sure. Um, and specifically off campus, we partner with Firefly. They are a really great community resource um, that serves all of Marion County here in Indianapolis, but that also includes our Marion community. So it's a free confidential resource for students or faculty staff, again, they're serving the greater community. But essentially they provide survivor services and advocacy, which they can provide lots of things, but essentially they provide whatever the survivor wants and what they think that they is helpful for their journey and what they need. So going back to the Firefly community organization, they're a wonderful partner. So they come to campus and they do presentations, but they also could just come to campus and meet with a student. So if a student is a residential student, right, they don't have a car uh, and they can't get to Firefly, mm -hmm. a Firefly advocate can actually come to our campus and meet with that student, right? Yeah, they can meet either in person, whether that's at their office, which is located in Indy, um, anywhere in the community. Again, we're in the community, so you can meet a Starbucks alumni um, anywhere that's like public. Um, but if you feel like you don't want to be out in the public, right, if you're also worried about seeing someone, um, they also can meet by phone or by chat or Zoom. Um, so whatever the survivor is most comfortable using. That's really awesome. Yeah. What events are coming up that students can look forward to this month? I'm so glad you asked, <laughs> Karen. Um, so students um, will be able to see, they'll see Firefly tabling in the dining commons a couple times um, on October 1st and October 29th. Um, but if you don't catch them or you'd like to catch them and you're not available, just let me know. I can always connect you to Firefly. Um, partnering with In Your Murals, they will be hosting their sand volleyball playoffs on Sunday, October 6th. Um, and we're encouraging all the players to wear purple and any spectators that come out to wear purple. Nice. Um, like I said, purple is the color for DVAM, so we're um, encouraging everybody to have a purple out for that game. Yeah. Um, on October 10th, um, Thursday during lunchtime, um, another community partner, Domestic Violence Prevention Network, DVPN. Um, they'll be here, again, they have tons of resources as well and information, but they'll also be handing out purple flowers. Mm. Um, we did this last year and a lot of students really appreciated that. So nice. I think it just brings a joy to someone's day, right? And we're able to continue the conversation around domestic violence awareness. October 17th is our Purple Thursday. So again, we'll encourage people across campus to wear purple. Again, to just talk about DVAM, 
and supporting survivors. And then our big event, we're partnering with Campus Activities Board, CAB, on Thursday, October 24th. Kind of a fall fest vibe, we're calling it Pumpkin Palooza, help us smash DV. Um, and so our main event there is we're gonna be able to smash pumpkins because who doesn't want to do that? Yeah, that sounds awesome. We'll also have some other fall activities like painting pumpkins. Hopefully, um, we'll have a bonfire going, cornhole, things like that. That so sounds awesome. Really looking forward to that event. Yeah, super fun. And one of our last things is on Sunday, October 27th, we'll have uh, the Sunday Masses that day at 10.30 and 7.30. Um, they'll be in specific dedication to victims and survivors of DV. Is there anything else you want to share with students, faculty, or staff about the Community of Care program? just want you to know that that's a resource for all students and I'd be happy to just continue to share information with you, um, connect you to resources. Um, while I'm not a confidential resource, our confidential resources are CCS, our counseling office, uh, the university chaplain, so Father Rick, and then um, our health center. So those are all your confidential resources, but um, if you talk to anybody else, they are not confidential resources, mm -hmm. which just means that they have to share things to Title IX, um, which can sound really scary, but essentially that's just a process that we have on this campus just to make sure that we're supporting students. So um, so I'm just making, I'm just here to make sure that students are supported and to create a culture of um, safety for everyone. Um, one of the things I really like about Green Dot training as a Green Dot facilitator is that, um, you know, we all have to help people understand that violence isn't tolerated on our campus and that everybody has to do their part. So listening to this episode is is part of that. Absolutely. Um, coming out to the events for Domestic yes. Violence Awareness Month, attending a Green Dot training, those are all ways that you can uh, kind of share that message of care across our campus and is really great to get involved. So that's a wrap on this episode of the Nightly Highlights. To get the full scoop on these stories and more, check out the Nightly News delivered to your inbox Sundays at 5 p.m. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe for your weekly dose of campus highlights. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.